When I'm away from the internet, I suddenly find games more engaging, and my attention span on creative projects goes through the roof. However, most of the time I am connected, since even, or especially for work, I need to access it. But this leads to terrifying amounts of procrastination. It didn't used to be a problem. But then again, I always used to do things last minute. Recently, I've wanted to build up a bit of a backlog of videos in case I can't make them for whatever reason for several days. But this has led to me mastering the art of avoiding work whilst doing absolutely nothing of value instead. And this problem has been getting worse. I think I've been procrastinating for a long time, but it's now finally got to that stage where I've paid attention to myself when I sit down to figure out where I'm going wrong. Do I need a glass of water? Yes, I need a glass of water. Maybe I need to go to the toilet as well. I know, let's get something to eat. While I'm eating, I guess I could watch an episode of Game of Thrones. Who was Cat's sister married to again? Oh yeah. Let's look at the top 10 death scenes from season 4. Isn't it sad when that person dies? Finally I stop, close everything down and get ready for work. Only to then boot up Chrome and to visit Reddit, the ultimate bottomless time sink of a site. Don't worry, I'm aware of all this stuff now and have taken steps to avoid it. Funnily enough, that means going back to how I used to deal with homework, doing it at the very last minute on the morning it's due. I don't really know why this approach is frowned upon. The work was done in a concentrated, productive blast and it let me fill the rest of my spare time with stuff I enjoyed doing that also happened to be better than simple procrastination. Let's face it, wasting a day leaves you feeling cold and empty after a while. But like I said, it's dealt with. But I might as well share with you some of my favourite subreddits that I've discovered and have been trying to undiscover. For those of you who don't know, Reddit is a site that has a forum page for everything, ever. I don't know how I lived without it. It's perfectly designed and it's always full of new content in an ever bubbling flood of new posts, fighting for the top of the page. First up is I am very smart. Whenever somebody flexes their intellect online, shows off about their IQ or claims to understand quantum physics, their display is posted here for everybody to laugh at. As much as I hate to admit it, I think a lot of what I say and do could be posted here, so I use this subreddit to stay humble in a way. It's installed a filter in my brain that double checks whatever I'm about to say or type in fear of ending up here. Title Gore has made me laugh more than anything else. Whenever a Reddit post is misspelled, it ends up here, occasionally with hilarious results. Filter by the highest rated of all time and prepare to loll and ruffle at delights such as Do you prefer sex with or without a condor? And How do you handle creps at the gym? They're ridiculous. All these subreddits are linked in the description, by the way. No Context is similar to Title Gore, only it's for people to post user comments that sound downright offensive when taken out of context. But most are pretty weird, even when knowing where they were posted. Hence the spin-off subreddit, even with context, which strays dangerously close to another favourite subreddit of mine. Jesus Christ Reddit is a rather new discovery of mine, full of the most tasteless and horrific comments the site has to offer. I don't find the quality of these too good in general, but browse by the top of the week, or of all time, and I'm sure that you'll find something suitably offensive. Subreddit Simulator doesn't have real people on it. It's full of bots that try to piece stuff from other bits of Reddit together into coherent sentences. As with Title Gore, it's hit and miss, but there are some real gems here, often relevant to latest news stories. Mad Lads isn't for the weak-hearted. It's full of lads doing mad stuff with sheer disregard for the law. The comments also reflect this. And while we're on the topic, AMD is arguably THE subreddit for AMD users. It's full of stuff disrespecting Nvidia and Shintel while making AMD look like the best company in the world, which of course it is. I'm disappointed that there's no rival Nvidia yeah to match, but I guess that Reddit isn't big enough for two subreddits with so much swag. Crappy Design is a consistently excellent subreddit full of crappy design. Expect websites that look like they're from the 90s and totally inappropriate signs that you won't believe got made unless you've worked in a company and have seen how inept people over 40 are with PCs. Children Falling Over was my favourite subreddit for a long time. It's full of children falling over. Some clips have more than one. Nobody gets hurt that badly, mostly because children seem to be made of a tough, rubbery substance. Idiots Fighting Things is kind of like children falling over, but with adults. Watch people take out their anger on poor, defenceless props and lose. Just Fuck My Shit Up showcases the most horrendous and imaginative hairstyles known to man, often with suitably dank titles and excessive use of the term fam. That Happened and Quit Your Bullshit are pretty much the same thing, calling people out for stories that are either obviously fake or have been discovered to be untrue. These subreddits were founded by Einstein, are 100% true and give a round of applause and $100 to anybody who joins them. Sad Cringe is a sad place full of sad posts from sad people who will make you feel happy that you're not like them but more often than not, you'll relate and won't feel so alone. So either way, you, you, you win? And that's it, my favourite subreddits. 
Not that I'll be visiting them anymore, what with me being all productive and stuff. And hey, looks like I finally made something productive from my time on Reddit.